Hi, my name is Bahadur Ahmedov. Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we're going to discuss uh, about, about the numbers in operations with them. So basically, we're going to talk about what are this, uh, these set of natural numbers, real numbers, or the rational numbers, for example. So let me draw, first of all, the, the line with the numbers. And here, I would like to, first of all, put the zero. And first thing which I would like to do is I would like to define uh, so-called natural numbers. So the natural numbers are going to be the numbers which I can count, like in my fingers, like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. So they're going to be one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So all of those numbers are going to be the natural numbers. So please note that the natural numbers, uh, the set of natural numbers, do, do not include, does not include the zero or the negative integers. So one way to memorize the, uh, the definition of the natural numbers would be to, the natural numbers are positive integers, right? So they are positive integers. And what about the uh, all the integers? So I would I would like to have a set which is going to contain all the integers as well, the whole numbers minus four and so on. So all of these integers, whole numbers, the positive, negative, and also the zero are going to be are going to form a set of uh, whole numbers. So whole numbers, whole. Or just integer. So um, okay. So at the same time, we've got lots of numbers in between those integers, right? So I might have a number here between one and two. It's going to be one point five. Or I might have a number here between minus t and minus three. It's going to be minus t point five. So all of those numbers in the which can be presented on the number line are going to be called uh, so are, are, are being called as the real numbers. So the real numbers, real numbers. It's basically all numbers which present, which are presented, uh, which are presented. on the number line. Well, now what I would like to do is, I've got lots of sets, right? So we know what is the natural numbers, or we know what's an, an integer or the real number. I would like to create a set. Basically, the sets are just the boxes where I would like to put all of those numbers. So let me start with the set of all the real numbers. So let's say I've got a box or some kind of pack package, right? With lots of numbers there. So they are going to be the real numbers. So let me list them. So they might be like um, one, two, three, zero, um, minus four, minus five, at the same time, I might have a numbers like a pi, or which is like, you know, that this is roughly 3.14, right? Or I might have E, which is roughly 2.71, and I might have like a minus 1.5, and all of them. So this is the set of real numbers. So when we say that we, we've got a set of real numbers, we just say that we've got a box with lots of numbers. It's all the numbers which are presented on the number line. So there is a notation for the real for the set for the set. We would like to make a notation for the set. We're always going to use a capital letters, but with this really a little bit strange uh, notation. For example, so I'm going to write down this with the R. So this is going to be uh, the set of real numbers. But I'm I'm just going to put the two columns here. So this is going to make me. Uh, so, so in, in this case, I, I can distinguish uh, what is the set. So whenever you will see a uh, capital Latin letter with the T columns, you should know that this is a set of 
some numbers or some items. So in this case, I'm going to denote was this R was the two columns as a set of all real numbers. So basically the set contains lots of numbers, infinitely many numbers. But at the same time, I can see here that some of the numbers here are the integers, right? So basically, so I can see here, all of those numbers here are the integers. So they are integers. So the set of integers, or, or let me define the set of integers first of all, or set of whole numbers. So I'm going to make the notation. So the notation for the integers is going to be Z, with again, double uh, double strips, double col columns. So I'm going to write Z is going to be a set of all uh, integers or the whole numbers. Right? And we can see from here that our pack with integers is, is actually a sub, sub pack of the uh, of the pack of real numbers, right? Or it is already inside the set of real numbers. So in this case, we say that uh, this Z set of all integers is subset of the R, the set of real numbers. So because it is presented already inside the real numbers, right? So every uh, integer is already a real number, which doesn't really work in a, uh, in a, in a vice versa, right? Uh, Okay. Uh, oh, okay. So now, what what I would like to do is here inside this set of integers, I have another set actually, right? So I, and another subset, I would say. So if I just make the notation of only positive integers, they are going to be the natural numbers. So natural natural numbers. So they are positive integers, but they are already presented inside a set of integers. So I'm going to denote the set of natural numbers with the end was again the double uh, double column. And this is going to be a set of all natural numbers. So we, we can make the notation for the sets in, in a little bit different way as well. So for example, if I would like to describe the set of natural numbers, I'm going to do this in this way. Hey, this n is the set. So I'm going to write down this in the, inside the curly brackets. And inside the curly brackets, I just need to describe what does it contain. Okay, so so this is the package, package or box or, or set, right, of numbers, which start from one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So this is going to be a set of natural numbers. So if I would like to describe the set of whole numbers, they are the, the integers. So this is going to be uh, Z, which contains lots of numbers in the negative one, minus six, minus five, minus four, and so on. Zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. So this is going to be the notation all the sets, right? Where I would like to describe the elements of the sets. So those numbers here are the elements and element of a set. Elements of the set inside the curly brackets. So now I've got uh, the three sets here, so which are really important. And I, I've got uh, some feelings about the sizes as well, right? So. Um, so if you talk about the sizes, the real set of real numbers is going to be the biggest one, right? And um, and the integers, if we compare the size of the set of integers and the natural numbers, and obviously the set of integers is going to be again bigger because the set of natural numbers and is a subset of set of integers, right? Okay. So at the same time, so this, those numbers are super nice and we've seen them lots of time. And I, I, I hope most of you like those numbers. At the same time, there are two types of more uh, like sets, which are also important, which we use always in our daily lives. So one of them is called like a set of natural, uh, rational numbers. 
rational numbers. And actually, any number which is presented in the form of P over Q is going to be called as a natural number, where P and Q are going to be any integers. Okay? Okay, so this, this notation mean here, P and Q are any integer. Any integer. So uh, basically, so here, what we are doing is we're using the variables, right? So uh, something, uh, some mathematical letters, which can, uh, which can take the value of, of the, which can take some values, okay? So the P and Q here, all the variables. What does it mean? It means that they can take different values. So they, we can assign, we can assign different values for them. Values for them. For example, if I say that, hey, they should be an integer, so they, they, they should be integers. So it means that I can assign P to be equal to the four or P to be equal to the minus 10 or Q to be equal to the six and so on, right? So we can assign different numbers from this set. So if a P and Q are any two numbers from a set of integers, it means that we can assign different integers uh, to these two variables P and Q. So well, any number which is presented in this form P or Q where the P and Q are the integers is, is, is called the natural number, uh, rational number, right? So from the word ratio, ratio, okay? And we're going to make the notation for the set of rational numbers. It is going to be Q was obviously T columns, right? Because now we know that any set is going to be presented as the capital letter Latin, or Latin letter where we're going to have two columns somewhere. So this is going to be a set of all rational numbers, rational. Rational numbers. So we are going to define those uh, rational numbers like, uh, oh, okay. So now uh, what I would like to do is I would like to, Uh, what I would like to do is I would like to define the set of rational numbers mathematically, okay? So let me write down the notation and then I'm going to describe you, okay? So we can write. So this is what we did is we wrote down, we described uh, the set of rational numbers with our words. We said, hey, let's say Q is going to be a set of uh, rational numbers. So now what I would like to do is I would like to write down the Q, let's say, is going to be equal to the set of all the numbers in the form of P over Q, right? So is, is it possible that I can assign any numbers for this P and Q? Obviously no, right? So I can't assign the real numbers for the P and Q. I can assign only the integers where P and Q are the integers. And obviously there's one more constraint that a Q can be equal to the zero, right? The Q can be equal to the zero. Good, so this is, these two expressions are actually equivalent. So later on in our course, we're going to write down everything using the mathematical notation, right? Without words, and we need to learn how to do this. So I'm going to explain you this one more time. So let's say Q, so I know that it has a T columns. It means that it is going to be a set. So it's a set, right? So, and in order to explain the elements of the set, we need to use the curly brackets. So we use the curly brackets. We use the curly brackets to explain or to describe the uh, elements of the set. So here we're, we're just saying, hey, our set is going to be in this form. So all the numbers 
in this set are always going to be in this in this way p over q so the form the form of its elements and this vertical line is actually really important because this vertical line here tells us hey so p and q should uh, so all the numbers should be in the form of p and q now after the uh, vertical line we need to explain okay so what is actually p and q okay basically or basically so like where where p and q are any two numbers which are integers so where p and q are two numbers so if you need to explain uh something about this part so something about the form of the element of the set you need to put a vertical line and explain this okay so this is about the set of rational numbers so there is one more set which is uh, also important this is going to be called as a set of irrational numbers set of irrational numbers well any uh so so we've seen that the real numbers are like contain lots of numbers right so basically basically all the numbers and this real numbers so set of real numbers set of real numbers can be split basically into, into the t basically to the rational numbers and irrational numbers Okay, and we're going to define rational numbers as like any number which is not rational. So I know that this sounds a little bit easy and, and, and complicated at the same time. So any number, any number that is not natural, uh, rational, sorry, that is not rational. Okay. Uh, an example of of a rational number is, for example, square root of two, or like a, a pi. Pi. It's going to be uh, like. I think it can be explained as a. Okay, for example, the square root of two, or square root of three hundred fourteen, or like a cubic root of uh, sixty five. They're all irrational numbers. So they can be explained uh, as the ratio of the P and Q. So uh, this is a set of all uh, important, so all important sets, which we're going to use through our course. Uh, okay, so in our next lectures, we're going to talk about the operations with those numbers, which we have just introduced.